Hello and welcome to Microwave Me, the show where I microwave the things you're not supposed to. And here's something that a lot of people uh, microwave and a lot of times it turns out alright, but supposedly if you don't puncture a hole in it, it will explode. I would love to believe that, but I've had so many disappointing fruit items like the coconut, which just barely split in half, and even worse, the mango, the watermelon. So many things just, just kind of did nothing. I'm hoping this spaghetti squash bucks that trend. I mean, look at it. It's nice and big. It's got a thick hide. Then again, so did the acorn squash, the watermelon, so many other things. Supposedly had a really thick hide, but but supposedly, if this goes right, it could blow the door open and big jarath, which is a pretty rare feat to achieve because not even the bottle of Mr. Clean was able to do that beyond just bumping the door a little. And here it's big jarath the Kenmore beast of a microwave. The only microwave I really trust to take on this Herculean task of doing a spaghetti squash. All right, time to put the spaghetti squash in the microwave. Open this bad boy up and stick it in like so. I'm thinking 20 minutes. All right, this is one to start with the remote arm.
Well, that was pretty neat. That was one of the only times a produce item actually did something cool. As you can tell, Jara's a mighty microwave. Well, look at that. See that? That blew up good. I mean, it knocked the wave guy a little loose. There's a little bit of squash inside. That was cool, and it made a nice loud boom. Any other microwave, this would have not only taken the door off, but probably caved in the top a little. At the very least opened the door, but no, this one kept on trucking. I mean, you remember Mr. Clean Bottle barely opened it. Anyways, uh, looking at this uh, still hot spaghetti squash, the idea on whether or not you should microwave this. I would say if you poke holes in it first, then it's safe because that's what you're supposed to do. But sticking it in like this, by the way it blew out, I'm going to have to say that this was quite unsafe. You really don't want to do it like this because people have reported that it's taken the door off their microwave, or at least bumped it open, and it sprays spaghetti squash all over their kitchen. And that's not something you want. So I'm going to have to give this an unsafe verdict only because, like that, if you want to cook spaghetti squash, poke holes in it first. 